Because you know we as Nigerians, we know we vote too. Right. Which is very, very weird. Considering that the diaspora is extremely important to everything that's happening in Nigeria. But it's not, if it's we not, stop to send money go Niger to Nigeria. My argument for that is this. What's the within Nigeria with the votes, they don't figure out how it's finished. Just because people are not doing well in primary school does not mean you don't need secondary schools. I agree. So don't, that's but, no, no, two no, no, different, no, no, completely no. different problems no, that you're talking about. I agree. What you say first? We should be participating in the electoral process. We first. should. We should. We get passport now, so. We should. What? Okay, so we what's should. the problem? We then? should. We should. But I'm more concerned about having a free and fair election in Nigeria first. Uh -huh. Before we can start letting Nigerians and diaspora start voting. Maybe, maybe that's what's keeping us away. Maybe the fact that if you look at most American people, what you say that they are, they are politicians today, they'll tell you that one of the one of the first reasons why they enter politics are because say the first day where they were able to now vote Votes. and they saw the difference that they could make, they, they were able to campaign. We all we're doing is lip service. All we're doing is just like oh my man, like me, I go talk to men, men I don't vote for Buhari, men I don't vote for Atiku. You know, you go talk to men and vote for Buhari, but and a lip service. Right, right. If say you did deal for somebody, at least we I actually put that thing down. That ginger go do your body say, man, damn, I like this. Maybe one day, maybe I say if you vote for me or whatever. That's one thing I still don't understand. I've not heard any tangible reason why we cannot be voting in this election. We get high commission now. We get we get embassy now. You're right. And my whole thing with that is, you know, let them fix. At the end of the day, we still have a long way to go. Let them fix elections in Nigeria well, first. Why you fix election? We get road. We don't spoil, but we play still they fly. You don't have, you don't, you don't need. It's not, it's not part of that whole. Oh, do this one first, then you do this one. I get what That's the good thing about being African. We don't have to wait. Make things day one by one. <laughs> we just jump now. We they jump now. See, see no, Niger right no, now. No, wait, now. wait. Niger, we know we got many years we get dialed up. All of a sudden now, yes, everybody, yeah. everybody get internet for their phones. Compared to America, we say they get dialed up for twenty years. Yeah. yeah. But wait, electric. What did they do for Niger? What did they rig? Mm -hmm. Then Nigerians, we did diaspora. We we don't even know the total number of Nigerians in the diaspora. You want me to begin the votes? Oh well. They dress into my diaspora. They play the press camera and they go so. Once the diaspora result enter like this. <laughs> so good point. This is, no, good point. Good point. <laughs> once the diaspora. You remember when it happened with Canada and election during 2015? Uh, good once, point. Once, once the diaspora uh, votes enter like excellent this. Excellent point. Excellent point. Excellent point. Um, uh, excellent point. Now, now, hold on now. What is one of the main problems that you have with the Nigerian election? The people where they vote. That their ID when they use vote is their only ID. That their PVC is their only, right, only ID, right, right? right? Nigerians in the diaspora, for you to say you be Nigerian with the diaspora, it means yeah. so you get passports. passports. Yeah, of course. That's a one to one match. Mm, okay. If you want Regan, Regan to you mod. That's a one to one match. And guess what? It's not like you're breaking a new barrier. Out. Countries course, have been doing course, it. Of course. Absolutely. America, then they vote remotely yeah, now yeah, from anywhere course, where you did. So, and then, okay, now bring it home. What percentage? Of Nigerians, day for diaspora, compared to Nigerians in Nigeria, I doubt so. Over five percent. No, it's it's more so. The part of the problem people way who passports. Part of the problem is that we don't even know the total number. But the no figures that we've heard. Throw something out. Now. Figures that we've heard mm. is that it's over twenty five million. I I I doubt that one. That's not that the first question. Anybody that's watching this tonight now. Yeah. Do you so believe that we have twenty five million Nigerians as well in Nigeria? You know what twenty five million is? That's, that's yeah. almost, you don't, you don't collect the rest of the West African countries. Now, why I talk? So then I got now. Wait. Then I yeah, 6.6 6 million. We have to look at it this way. What's the total population of Nigeria? 200 million. Okay. So do you believe that 10% of Nigerians are outside of Nigeria? I don't. Okay. Uh, like I, I said, I, I, like, I really I said don't. like I said. No, don't because say people, don't because say they lose spike, will say Nigerians, so everyone's spike is plenty, pass outside and inside. <laughs> this story, you. <laughs> No, like this I said, story, like I said. I just got back. Where they go now? Chibi, go now. That is December. How many of them I go? Like I said. When I, when I increase the population by 10% or 2%. I don't know. Ask people where they, where they stay in Nigeria, they'll tell you. But like I said, right, we don't have the actual numbers. So not just estimates. And that's part of the problem. Not just estimates. You know, um, the U.S. can tell you the percentage of Americans outside of the U.S. If Nigeria really wanted you, it's, 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 okay, so what you're trying to get to, right? You know there's a difference between people that identify as Nigerians and people who are Nigerians. Right. 
Right, right. You understand? Yeah. Why well, your picking grow now? Your picking go identify as Nigerian. But your picking may course. not be Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because he has that choice whether I won't go and collect money or not, that, right? Yeah. So I mean, if they identify their passport expire, they just yeah. You know, so this thing I say, what, what, where is the source of passports? Who owns passports? Nigerian government. Where do you go to renew it? Nigerian embassy. Of course. That right there is a if place they where they can go. If you just go to ask embassy, say, how, how many, many Nigerian passports have you issued in the last five or ten years? Boom. And you That's can it. Get it. And guess what? Every 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 passport get number. Yeah, of course. So it's not a random thing. Of course. They know which ones they issue for Nigeria. They know which because mm -hmm. when they send the passports, yeah, book, it says it on your passports. Yeah, yeah, of course. So no, I'm talking about the passport book itself. Right. Right? So the passport book is that already get your passport number right, before right, they even give you that passport. Right, right. So they already know. Say these ten thousand passports were sent to Syria and they don't finish them. This one's they Brazil. This one. So. I think it can be known, <coughs> I don't, but the problem is, and this is just me just telling story now, because yeah. I don't really know this thing. I know if I know something, I will talk to someone. Problem is, if they fuck around and let people in America vote, all those show it them. I don't go carry our vote. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because we don't send whether you give me money or anything. Of no. course, all those show it them. They say Kingsley, what's his name? Mugazu. Wow. Now they go carry vote, and that's a problem. Yeah. Of for the ruling elite, of course. That's well, there not are many reasons, they want there are many reasons why they won't want to get this thing, uh, yeah. this thing done. Uh, because percentage of Nigerians in diaspora, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people may not uh, consider themselves Nigerians today, but if they are able to vote, ah, so why the non Nigerians will go get Nigerian passports? Well, ah, you don't start now. Which movie the non Nigerians? I said more Nigerians. Okay, more I didn't say Nigerians. Nigerians. I didn't say one to talk that. Without PDP, yes, yeah. so when they talk to people from Chad, <laughs> no, no, they no, can't no, vote no. for APC. No, no, you no, heard that story? Ah, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Why Nigerians like that? <laughs> now, which foreigner? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the assumption is me, I never enter, I never enter that, like, that side before, but the assumption is that, say, in any time we election day, yeah. you know, people they enter from uh, yeah. this country. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know. But but people the, in the north will be able to answer that question. So if you have any you know, viewers from northern Nigeria, they may know. But me, I don't know. Okay, so we can ask a question. You know, and this is where this is where them not knowing things or places, mm -hmm. right? Like you don't you want to see growth or not, right? No, no. you want to see growth or not? No. Your, your grandpa Panko? Oh my grandfather, yeah, yeah. Why are you looking like something? Oh, like, 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 my grandfather. My grandfather that. they built barrack for not and this is in there with your mom see that no, time no, and they never born out. Like before they no, born out. Like, so in there then yeah. that's yeah. a cheat with other women. Confirm. Okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> 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 the point I'm trying to get to is this, right? It, it shows you the difference in people not knowing different parts of Nigeria and what's happening right. there, right? People for Lagos where they talk say, ah, these bastards wait there for wait there for nothing. Those are people from China and Nigeria, right? They can't vote. Yeah. People for Kano, please believe. Then they said they don't say, ah, these bastards for Lagos. Now Benin Republic and Togo, they can't vote too. Oh, people but from East saying that Cameroon, yeah. Of course. But how many Benin Republic people? How many Togo people they can't vote? Fox. These so are all I think, the I think that's that. a different issue. I think part of the problem is that, you know, as Nigerians, we don't see ourselves as Nigerians. You either Northern mm -hmm. or you you know yeah for us from the southwest or the mm -hmm. east that's the problem so we don't trust yeah you know there's no trust um you know amongst Nigerians that's yeah. why you know if you have a northerner that has a lot of votes oh then they must be um uh, non Nigerians mm -hmm. from Chad and the J votes and if you so that's the problem is that there is no trust mm -hmm. amongst Nigerians yeah. and uh Part of the problem, I think part of the solution is that we have to you know, really start thinking about this thing and say, okay, how do we improve Nigeria? I think for our generation, for example, you are an Igbo boy, mm -hmm. I'm a Yoruba boy. I will be first Igbo go to Lagos State. Though, but that's not going to happen. But you are an Igbo boy, I'm a Yoruba boy, uh -huh. right? At the end of the day, when you look at our generation, you know, your ethnic group doesn't count. So, this was the first true Nigerian generation, and we're the only ones that can change Nigeria. 